Hello everyone, today we will talk about an enhancement to the collection framework as part of Java 21 which is introduction of sequenced collection. So without any further delay, let's start. This is the official documentation from OpenJDK. I will share the link of this in video description as well. So let's see what was the motivation behind the introduction of sequenced collection. Now we have many collections where sequence of the elements is defined in the order of their encounter. That is if I add an element in a list then it will be in the same order when I will get the element from that particular list. But there was a problem that they lack a uniform set of operations that apply across them. Many implementations support getting the first or last element but each collection defines its own way to access them. In addition to that there are some for which it is entirely missing. Like in this case if we want to access the first or last element in case of list then we can use dot get method and provide its index as zero. But on the other hand, if we see for DQ, there is a method dot get first available for the same operation. In case of sorted set, if we see still there is a function dot first, but you see there is that is defined differently from DQ. That means there is no consistency. And for linked hash set, if we want to get the first element, then that is a whole new story. In case of linked hash set, first we need to obtain the iterator, then we need to call the dot next method to get the first element of linked hash set. We see there is a great deal of inconsistency for the similar operations in different collections where order is maintained as per the occurrences. Now getting the last element is no different. For list for example, first we need to calculate the size of the list and then we need to decrement its value by 1 and pass that value as an index so that we can get the last element. Again in DQ and sorted set a function is defined but it is inconsistent. Moreover in linked hash set if we see this is entirely missing. So there is no method or no direct way to access the last element in linked hash set. So how it can be achieved? For that we need to iterate through the whole set of elements to identify what is the last element in that linked hash set. Now I hope the problem is clear to you that why do we need a common interface. That work is done using sequenced collection, sequenced set and sequenced map. Now let's see all these in action as well. Now I will start with list and in that first I will add few elements using standard add method. After that we will see how we can access the first and last element and modify them as well using the old approach and later how we can achieve the same thing using the functions which are available in Java 21. And similar we will do for sequenced set and sequenced map implementations. Now I'm starting with list so first I will create a list and add few elements. So this is the list I have created and I have added three different elements inside this which is one two three in the string format. Now we will see before Java 21 how we can access the first element in this particular list. So to do that we need to provide zero index and call the get method. And similarly for accessing the last element we need to identify what is the last index and provide that particular index in the get method. So let me try to run this program and let's see the output. So here you can see we can access the first and last element using this way. Now let's try to do the same thing using the methods which are available in Java 21. So you can see uh, how easily we can access these two elements by just calling the get first and get last method. Now let's try to execute this program and verify the output if it is same. 
so yes we can see the output is same now let's see how we can add the elements at first and last location in any list so to do that before java 21 how we used to do it so for adding anything in the beginning of the list we need to use the overloaded add method so let's do that numbers dot add so here you can see this one overloaded add method is available where we can provide the index number and the element that we want to add so for beginning the index will be zero and the element whatever value that we want to enter in that list so let's add zero so what it will do it will add this zero string at the first zeroth index and it will shift all other elements to the right side so if I try to run this program now, so the first element will be replaced with zero. So here you can see the first element is replaced with zero. But to add some element at the end of the list, uh, there was a very straightforward way. We can directly use dot add method, which we were earlier able to use. So what it will do, it will add the element at the last index, whatever is available. So to do that, let's try to do numbers dot add and simple whatever element that we want to add so i have added zero at the first location and four at the last location so what we are expecting so the output should be changed from one to three to zero and four where you can see the output has been changed but if you see these things are not consistent and you will not be able to understand whether we are adding it in the last or the first element by just looking at the call so during Java 21 changes with the new interface, we can do this very easily. So to do that, let me tell you how we can do it. So we will use numbers dot add first. So what it will do, it will internally call the add method by providing the zero index and the value that we'll be providing here. So I'm providing zero here and similar to this numbers dot add last method is also there. So this will directly call the normal add method so with this from the developers point of view as well it is easy to maintain the code because from the method call itself we come to know whether it's the first element getting added or the last element is getting added so now i have added the similar elements using the new functions let's try to execute this particular program and see how the output changes now similar to these operations the same can be achieved for linked hash set as well now let's move to the linked hash set example as well here i have created this linked hash set object which accepts integers and i have added three different values one two three the integer numbers now here you can see to access the first element first we need to get the iterator and then calling the next function on that so that we can get the first element and to get the last element the whole collection needs to be traversed so after traversing the whole linked hash set we will get the last element as well so here you can see the process is too much cumbersome and a lot of processing needs to be done so how this can be simplified using the latest changes in java 21 so as the linked hash set is also in the hierarchy of sequenced set and sequence set itself is uh, in the hierarchy of sequenced collection so these methods get first and get last will also be available in this one so to get the first and last element of linked hash set we can directly call the get first and get last method on the collection so this is the line i have written to get the first element numbers dot get first and to get the last element numbers dot get last now let's try to execute this particular program and see what is the output using both ways in the traditional way as well and using the new methods so here you can see the output is same so we are able to access same thing now let's see the other operations like to add something on the beginning of linked hash set or in the end of uh, linked hash set so to add something at the end of linked hash set it is same we can directly uh, call the similar dot add method it will add the element at the end of linked hash set but to add something in the beginning that is another challenging task because we need to create a new linked hash set and insert the first element there and after that we need to traverse the old linked hash set and keep on adding other elements in the new linked hash set so that is a very complex process but 
using the new methods which are available in Java 21, we can add first and last element directly using add first and add last method. So if I do that and run this program, the output for the second CISO statement should be changed because we have modified the linked hash set. So here you can see the first element is 0 and the last element is 4. Now the third component which was sequenced map and I will leave that sequenced map for you to do some hands on so that you can understand it better. And in case you face any issue, please do let me know in the comment section. We will try to fix the issue. So that's it in this video. I hope this was helpful to you. And if you find it useful, please do like, share and subscribe. And also don't forget to press the bell icon so that you won't miss any new updates. I will try to cover the more important features which are getting introduced in Java 21 in the upcoming videos as well. Thank you so much for watching. Keep learning.